Hey everybody, Bryce from GoLife.io. And when we left off, uh, we just had this simple uh, basic site. We're routing to one page, so nothing exciting. Um, but I think in this uh, part two, I guess it is, I want to add probably the navigation and the footer components. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Um, let me go ahead and just clean this up. This looks like it's off center here. Perfect. Um, and actually, let's throw that in a container. Let's go div class name. Because it's React, so you can't use class. It's uh, JSX rendering your CSS and everything else for you. Um, or your HTML. HTML. Um, geez. So let's make this a uh, container. And let's format all of this over here. Perfect. That should format. Boom. Perfect. So it's looking pretty good. So let's add some components. So let's create another uh, directory. We'll call this one components. And in components, we'll create a new file and we'll name it uh, navbar.jsx. And I'll create another file called navbar.css. Perfect. So let me close CSS for now. I'm gonna work on the navbar. So what we can do is again, we're gonna import React. and component from React. Um, and in here, what we want to do is we need to import a link from React Router DOM. And I think the DOM part means you can use it um, I think in multiple places. I think you can use it in React Native as well. Could be wrong. So if somebody knows, please correct me. Um, I think that's what the difference is between the standard React Router library and the React Router DOM. Um, perfect. So we have link, and just for right now, we'll import our navbar.css. So we have our style sheet coming in. So you're gonna see how we're gonna use link here in a second. So let's go let's just set up our git up. So we'll say class of navbar extends component. Oops. And we're gonna render. We've done this a couple times now. Return. And let's make sure we don't forget this time uh, to export default navbar so we can import it elsewhere. Perfect. Now here, um, let's see, what do we want to return? So we probably want to grab from examples. This is where those come in. So I think we can go here. Let's grab this nav bar. So I'm just gonna go edit as HTML. I'm just gonna select all and copy that. We'll bring that in. Blam. So looks like that's off. That's better. So this isn't gonna work, right? Cause it has to be class name. So you can use command D, just select all these instances here. Do a multi-line edit. We shouldn't see anything cause we haven't imported it yet. But if we go over to app.js, I think if we import navbar from component slash navbar.jsx. Then actually, that's not where I want to do this at. Not on app.js. I'm gonna do this in our home, right? Because the app.js just has, um, the router and it's routing the pages, but it doesn't actually have anything. We need to go to the page where we want to render this. So I want to come in here. Oops. 
drop that in, then we should be able to just go nav bar for the component. Oh, that's right, because the directory is different now. Uh, I need to go up one. What is it saying now? Let's see. So it says there's an error form. So if we go over to navbar JSX, I think it's a search bar here that we imported. Let's just get rid of that. And bam, look at that. So you got uh, some navigation. So let's go ahead and modify this just a little bit. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead and add a div here. The class name of container. So I want our links to kind of line up here. Move that over. Close that div tag. Then our text should line up. There it goes. So now it's not sitting all the way on the edges. We use that container, that's bootstrap. Um, that's been around for a minute now. But you had a class name container and it kind of brings it in. So you're not like float, floating out on the edges. Depending on your style, you may want that, but not in this one. Um, and also what we want to do is anytime we have a link, let's see, I also want to move the, so we'll go uh, margin left auto. So they moved kind of a lot of the tags into the DOM instead of doing them from CSS. So. You'll see that push our links over here to the right side. So it's looking pretty good. So top now bar, let's go ahead and change that to react website, or you could put an image in there, whatever you want to do. Um, and then what we want to do is all these a tags or anchor tags. Um, we want to change them to link um, because that's the, what we're importing. That's how we'll display the links or trigger the, make the links like render correctly through react. Uh, that's not gonna work. I have to manually do this. That's all right. So link. Where else we got it? Um, here. We'll say link. Link. Link and link. Load that away. And then href. Um, you can change that to two. And then here we'll put a slash, slash, and about. Um, I think we do put slash about. It's probably not going to understand. Probably crash, but we try it out. It seems to work. Go here. Blip. Nothing. But um, you can see it's trying to go there. We just don't have a page there. So that's perfect. So looks like it's working pretty good. Um, well, it's not really working, but at least it's kind of looking all right. Um, so let's go ahead for time's sake. I'm just going to drop in some styles I have here. Um, so let me paste them in. So I don't waste your guys' time here. So we're just setting the color and the um, link color. So nothing crazy. Did I not say that? Let's see. Color's not changing. So if we go back over to you, nav bar, I think I set up some of this stuff in here. Let's see. Class name, nav bar, toggle MD. I'm just going to get rid of this here. I think that'll do it. Boom, there we go. Now it's looking all right. But it's kind of running together. We'll put in our Jumbotron here in a bit. Uh, let's try to knock out the footer real quick. So components, I have a new file. So we footer.jsx and we'll have a new file, footer.css. Perfect. Now, and do the same thing, actually, JSX, there we go. Import, react, 
component from React. Change this to JavaScript here. And then we're gonna import the same directory, the dot slash footer.css. Now kind of the same syntax class, footer extends component render oops, render we're going to then return um let's make sure not to forget like we did before export default footer we need to wrap this in the footer tag let's see i'll actually show you guys so let's go back over to bootstrap examples click back here there was a footer, sticky footer. That's the one we want. We inspect that. So edit as HTML, we'll grab it. Perfect. And render that in there. Change those classes. One, two. Nope, capitalized name, camel case. There we go. And we say, say my website. Use an HTML entity here to render the copyright sign. Is it one six nine? Um, and we'll do a little um, JS here. New date. Dot get full year. And that should be it. And that should render the year in there. Oh, because we didn't import. I was like, why is it not showing up? Because we didn't import it yet into our home page. Um, perfect, but that's looking good. Um, and then for the styling for the footer, I'm just gonna paste it in real quick, save some time. But we're positioning absolute, bottom zero. And you would have had to find this from from here, I'm grabbing some of that and then adding a couple little other things in there, like display block, whatnot. Um, it's no biggie. So now what we need to do is on our home.jsx, wham, um, we need to actually import the footer. So it's kind of like this. footer, here we go, slash footer, oh, not slash footer, footer, self-close, and bam, we have our footer. It's easy enough. All right. So in the next tutorial, I think we'll add the Jumbotron, and then probably add the About and Contact page, which will basically be duplicates of the homepage. So stay tuned for the next video.